The cicadas are coming. In case you haven't heard, well, you might hear them outside soon enough. Brood 19 and Brood 13 are emerging at the same time for the first time since 1803, which was when Thomas Jefferson was president. So let's give you an animated look at what to expect this spring. Once the soil temperature near the cicada's home reaches 64 degrees Fahrenheit or greater, the buzzing insects begin to climb through their exit holes. That same night, cicadas transform from nymphs or their sexually immature phase to adults. The cicadas molt into their new form by shedding their final exoskeleton. Cicadas must keep a low profile in the hours after they molt in order for their new exoskeleton to harden and to prevent being eaten by predators. Afterwards, they begin looking for mates to reproduce in a ritual that will take place six to ten days later. Male cicadas are known for their deafening mating call. The sound is caused by the vibration of their timbal, an organ that rests on the side of their abdomen. Predators like birds, bears, fish, raccoons, turtles, and even some humans love to feast on cicadas, which are in the same family as the stink bug. After mating, female cicadas use their ovipositor to slice into small trees, shrubs, and even grapevines. Females lay anywhere from 400 to 600 eggs before they begin to die, and then their bodies become fertilizer for the soil around them. Six to eight weeks after the eggs are laid, the nymphs hatch and fall to the ground. The tiny nymphs then dig to plant roots where they'll live for the next 13 or 17 years, depending on the type of brood. Periodical cicadas will emerge across more than 10 states this spring. Brood 19 is geographically the largest of all broods, living from Maryland to Georgia and Iowa to Oklahoma. If you manage to miss them this year, the next emergence will happen in 2025 with Brood 14.